Thanks, Bob. I'd just like to read a statement, if I could. My goal from the start of this process was to create the options necessary to safeguard the future of the Chargers franchise while respecting the will of my fellow NFL owners. Today, we achieved this goal with a compromise reached by the NFL ownership. The Chargers have been approved to relocate to Los Angeles at the Inglewood location at any time in the next year. In addition, in assistance in the event there is a potential solution that can be placed before voters in San Diego. I will be working over the next several weeks to explore these options that we have now created for ourselves to determine the best paths, path forward for the Chargers. Thank you. Clearly not the, the, uh, the outcome that you were expecting. What are your emotions at this point? Well, obviously Carson was our main objective, but um, you know we do now have several options available to us. Uh, Obviously, we have been chosen as a second team to go to Inglewood this year if we choose. And uh, uh, something good, I think, is that the league has offered $100 million extra in extra capital uh, if there was a deal to be made in San Diego for a new stadium. So you get the sense the NFL is encouraging you to try and get something done in San Diego, or is it really to explore what you think is best at this point? I think the league is always trying to keep the teams in their respective markets. So I think this is a good thing, and uh, we'll see what happens. Do you expect anything to change when it comes to negotiations with the city? Do you expect, what, what, what's your steps when it comes to the city of San Diego? Do you expect to have any further talks with them at this point? Well, right now, as I said, tomorrow I'm going to take the day off. Okay, everybody's kind of tired. And then I think, you know, in the next two, three weeks, we're going to sit down and really look at all our uh, options that are uh, open to us, not just in San Diego, but obviously in Inglewood. Yes. It's been a really tough year in, in San Diego, on and off the field. Um, you know, especially something like this, people are expecting you to leave. Do you think, have, have the bridges been burned? Do you think you can go back to San Diego? Do you think that those wounds can be healed and that you can get something done? Well, I hope so. Obviously, on the field was very disappointing, but off the field, you know, our fans are, are tremendous fans. I've always said that we have the best fans in the National Football League. And, you know, what's happened here in the last 14 years is not, and it does not have anything to do with the fans. Um, You've said all along, you and Mark Fabian have made it all clear all along, you did not want to partner up. You were not interested in Stan Kroenke's proposal. You were not interested in Inglewood. You, well, you need a couple of days to go and decompress and take and evaluate things. But at this point, is it the lesser of two evils to get it done in San Diego or try and work something out in Los Angeles? Well, I, again, like I said, and I'm sorry, I just, you know, I need to take some time and really look at these options carefully. Uh, like I said, it wasn't the one we were expecting. But at the same time, it's two options that I didn't have yesterday. So I do have two available options. I'm going to take a real good look at them. Last thing I'll, I'll ask you, because time is of essence for, for everybody. And I'm sure you're tired of it. The fans are tired of it, too. You need time to take, take some time off. When do you expect to go ahead and make this decision as to which, which avenue you want to go? A week, two weeks? What, what does the NFL want you to do as far as timetable as well? I have the entire year to, to make a decision if I want. So, you know, I'm, like I said, I really want to get some sense of direction in the next month or so, but uh, I don't have to do anything. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to wait and see. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it, Dean. Thank you. Thank you.